Good evening. We're glad to see each and every one of you here tonight. We appreciate you coming and being a part of our Christmas program here at Pineview. And if you're visiting with us, we say welcome to you. And we pray that you'll have a great stay here with us and enjoy uh, yourself and be blessed tonight. Does everyone have a bulletin and a little flashlight? Did you get those when you came in the door? It should look like this. Everyone have one. If you don't, please raise your hand. You get one, Jim? Okay. Everyone? All right. You'll need that. Throughout the program tonight, when the Spirit of the Lord's moving and, and you feel something real good, just do this. Okay? It'll encourage us up here and it'll help. And then at the end, we'll use it uh, during the time of silent night during our communion. And uh, so just hang on to it. And when you finish tonight, take it home with you. It's, your, it's a little souvenir from Pine View Baptist Church for you. And uh, we hope you enjoy your stay here with us. Let's bow our heads together now for prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we do thank you and praise you for this time of year when we can celebrate your birth, the greatest gift that's ever been given to the world. And Father, I pray tonight for every person who's going to be singing and playing and, and using their talents in whatever kind of way, that Lord, that they might, every person here might be blessed of God. And Lord, I pray that when we leave here tonight, we leave different than we were when we came because we've been touched by the Master. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I do want to say immediately following this service, when we go out with Silent Night, if you'll go right into the fellowship hall, uh, there's food there prepared for us, and we invite every one of you to come and stay uh, and be a part of that time of fellowship together. Brother Wayne? Separated me from Christ my Lord. It was so vast the crossing I could never fall from where I was. To his demand, it seems so far. I cried, dear Lord, I cannot come to where you are. came to me that's why he died on Calvary when I could not come to where he was he came to me to me when I was bound in chains of my sin. He came to me when I possessed no hope within. He lifted me up and drew me gently to the side where today in his sweet love I now abide and I'm so glad that he When 
I could not come to where he was, he came to me. That's why he died. Oh, when I could not come to where he was, he came to me. Jesus was He came to me Passing by, come to Jesus, come to Jesus, come to Jesus and live. Now your burden. 
curtains lifted and carried far away Precious blood has washed away the stain So sing to Jesus, sing to Jesus, sing to Jesus and live like a newborn baby. Don't be afraid to crawl and remember when you walk sometimes we fall so fall on Jesus fall on Jesus fall on Jesus and live sometimes the way is lonely and steep and filled with pain so if your sky is dark and pours the rain then cry to Jesus cry to Jesus cry to Jesus And when the love spills over And music fills the night And you can't contain the joy you feel inside Then dance for Jesus Dance for Jesus Dance for your final heartbeat kiss the world goodbye then go in peace and laugh on glory's side then fly to Jesus fly to Jesus fly to Jesus and live Fly to Jesus
this be the moment now? With every step I take, let this be my solemn vow to take each moment and live each moment in peace eternally. Let We're going to ask our ushers, if they would, to come forward. All undesignated gifts tonight that we receive in our offering is going toward our Lottie Moon Christmas offering. So we ask you to give and as God blesses you and give very generously if at all possible. Men, lead us in a word of prayer, please. you would stand and turn to the back of your program and join with us in singing a medley of songs to celebrate Jesus. Oh, we must pray. 
And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. I'd like to read the Christmas story in your hearing. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Serenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth unto Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his spouse, wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For you, unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away, from them unto the heavens, the shepherds said one to another, Let us go now even unto Bethlehem to see this thing which has come to pass, for which the Lord has made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning the child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherd. But Mary kept these things in her heart and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. May God add his blessing to the reading of his word. May we pray together. Our Heavenly Father, as we think about your birth and all the wonderful things, Lord, that you've done for us, the greatest gift that we've ever received in this world was salvation, and we thank you for that. Because, Lord, we weren't able to save ourselves. We weren't able to pull ourselves up of the mire and the sin of this world. But, Lord, you came down from Calvary to suffer, to bleed, to die that we could have life eternal, and we thank you. In a moment now, Lord, we're going to celebrate around the table to remember afresh and anew what you've done for us. And may we remember in our hearts today, Lord, what you've done. In Jesus' name, amen.
On that night before our Savior was crucified, he gathered his disciples together for the Last Supper. And we invite you tonight, we, are, uh, we practice open communion here in our church, and if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you've accepted him as your Lord and Savior, we encourage you to come and participate with us here tonight. We're going to ask you, if you would, just to file out here in the middle aisle and just go this way and back into your seats and partake of the elements and the drink right here. And uh, we'll begin now. You ladies and gentlemen, will come, please. On the night after the Passover, it says they sang a hymn and went out. Tonight we're going to ask you to stand with us and we're going to sing the first two verses of Silent Night. It's on the back of your program. And on the third stanza, we'll sing it, but we'll sing it a cappella, if you would, please. Use your little lights. Get those out and let them shine a little bit tonight, okay? Okay. 